At St. Paul's, we run a significant number of ministries uh, all through the year. Our major uh, project is our community food bank, which feeds well over 5,000 people a year, a significant number of whom are children. It's a food bank that, that the people in Ajax Pickering, uh, are, you know, they really rely on. Mm -hmm. Most of them are on welfare, mm -hmm. and uh, we do have some on disability. I'm just about to start um, receiving clients that come in here on either Tuesday or Friday. They just can't make ends meet and all we're here to do is to help them over that certain period that they have no food. From the time they get their check until the time they get their next check. The first job that comes in and one of the most important jobs that we have here is what we call quality control. This is where the food comes in from various sources, uh, be it supermarkets, uh, individual donations, food drives, and the group of people there are going to go through the food and make sure that it is uh, current dated, that the quality of the cans and the packaging has not been compromised. What we're looking at right now is um, putting non-perishable food items in boxes, and uh, the boxes are sort of broken into three sizes, depending on the size of the, size of the family. So in each box, we're going to have some fruit, some canned vegetables, some stews, pork and beans, um, pasta sauce, uh, dry pasta, canned meats, sort of a balanced diet, so getting your carbohydrates, your proteins. So then uh, we have people whose job is to break down uh, flour, tea, sugar, other items from big packaging into smaller packaging so that we can share more with our clients. And then we have what we call the runners, and they're the people that actually serve the clients one-on-one, -on -one, making sure that they have the box that's assigned to their family size, along with cereal, peanut butter, juice. We also are able to offer baby food. The babies are the ones who cannot do for themselves. And we are here to make sure that they get whatever we have. The first year we give out Easter baskets, we almost had every volunteer in tears. The clients couldn't believe that we were giving them those Easter baskets for their children. They just couldn't believe it. Yeah, it's a good feeling when you deal with a client and a client says to you, God bless you and thank you for what you have done for me. You have made my day. Well, I think we all should be very concerned that the people that come in here from welfare are told to come to our food bank. They're obviously, the government just does not give them enough money when they're sending them to us right from the welfare office. And we've got to do something. The government's got to be aware that they're not giving them enough to live on. Whereas some people get very involved in international issues, there are a lot of issues in our own uh, backyard, in our own neighborhoods, and uh, people that are forgotten about here. I mean, it's too easy, especially in this internet world, to be in communication with people all over the world but uh, not knowing the situation of the people that are in the house next door to you or in the apartment next door to you. You know, I've been asked by uh, people in my office, um, what can we support locally that's, that's good for us? You know, builds goodwill in our name and uh, gives everybody a good experience in participating. And I said, well, you can search around. There's, there's a hundred organizations that would take your time and money, uh, but do you want something local in our community or do you want something that's national or provincial? And if you want local, it's the food bank. There's, you know, I can tell you from personal experience, but there's all sorts of studies as well that demonstrate that people want to work for a company that does the right things. We have a food bin in our church foyer and we simply promote that people can bring a bag of food um, along with their Bible and their keys and their family to church and, um, and they leave that food bag um, in the bin in our foyer, and then the same group of guys that help do the deliveries from the grocery stores will also take the food from that bin and bring it to the food bank. Um, so since last May, we've given over 6,300 pounds of food, um, and this is an easy way for churches and organizations to get involved. You know, we sat down as a small group, my department sat down as a group to say, well, you know, what else is there that we might be able to do? So we came up with a couple of ideas. One, we, you know, we now have a community garden plot mm -hmm. uh, where we're growing vegetables. 
and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure there's too many green thumbs amongst us, but we're getting lots of help from the folks over there. And so we plan to grow vegetables this summer and contribute those to the food bank. So that uh, made me want to get more involved to see how we could uh, uh, restore levels of service that there had been in the past and, and even improve on that. I'm passionate about the food bank because I believe it is responding to one of the core necessities that people have. Well, I, I'm very pleased this morning uh, to be here with all of you, but I'd like to uh, share with you some uh, good news from the uh, Mayor's Gala Committee, and that is that this year we've decided that uh, the food bank will be uh, one of the beneficiaries of the, uh, the uh, gala funds, so uh, we'll look forward to uh, providing you with a, uh, a sizable check a little later in the year. We couldn't be happier. Thank you, Thank Thank you. you very I'm much. Thank you to the Gala Committee, too. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, well, yes. I'll, I'll take that back. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you very you. much. Okay.